Okay. Elizabeth is first. Elizabeth, who has beautiful yes. skin, by the way. She does. Thank you. Beautiful. She has a little rosy complexion, but I like to say she saves money on blush. Yeah. That's a good I, thing, right? I think she looks beautiful. I like rosy yes. cheeks. So, but you know what? Actually, if you get an over-the-counter nasal spray yeah. that has oxymetazoline in it, that actually will help to temporarily constrict blood vessels. So if you put it on, you can actually see a, a lessening of your redness for the next few hours or so. So, so if you have really allergies, red nose probably went with red cheeks put yeah, some so you on your can, cheeks too right so you can <laughs> apply it to your cheeks and you can see a, you can see an improvement i think you know it's a, it's a good thing to do in a pinch in a pinch it's not something that's long lasting it's not going to get rid of lasers did or you other try kinds this treatments. have you done this yes yeah, so um i'm actually a speech pathologist in elementary school and i work with students with pretty severe disabilities and they're constantly touching my face mm. and putting their hands elsewhere so I don't really wear makeup. Right. But on days that I have meetings, I'd like to look a little bit more presentable. Right. So I think that this is gonna Nasal be- Nasal spray is gonna yeah, be good it'll on, be your, it. on your skin, yes. It's, <laughs> it's we, really good to- Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So I mix it with a little moisturizer first, just so, because it's a liquid, right? So it makes it a little bit easier to apply. And then we just mix it up and you just apply it a little bit to your cheeks. It's, you're not gonna see it magically happen right away, you know, but it will do something to help the overall color of her face. And it's nice and cooling. Yeah, so yeah. It feels that's my cool face. Very feels refreshing. Good. And then you can give yourself here. a couple of, of yes. sniffs Well, on if you need it. But but you want to look for oxymetazoline. That's Oxy the component. Oxymetazoline. Yes, that's, that's the component. Blood vessels, yes. All right. Superficial well, blood vessels. There you go, teach. So Danielle, <laughs> Danielle, Danielle here. Okay. What does Danielle have on her face? We did this beforehand. We actually did a little quick blackhead removing mask, and this is oh, a really nice thing that you can do. Oh, my husband kind of suffers from this. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do this for him at home. This is all we. All you need is egg white. We froth it up a little bit, and we apply it with an, with a little tissue paper. So really, we you, we paint it on, and then we so take off the little strips. So you put meringue essentially. Yeah, it's like a. You know, in food, yes, uh, egg whites are used to purify food, right. and used mm -hmm. in traditional uh, Belgian beer making as well to remove the impurities. It lifts really? out the impurities. So it can remove the impurities in the skin so as well. So you can make some Belgian beer after you're yeah. done with your nose. And it's an astringent. You know, if you get it, yes. it kind of tightens up so it can pull this off. So we can try to do this now, actually, because she's been sitting long enough. And let's see if it will really pull. You want to really let it sit for a while so that it can pull off some of her black. Yep, that's here. a meringue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's tissue paper meringue. Mm -hmm. so, tissue you know, paper meringue. We'll see if you can see it on there. But let me pull this one off for you, too. This one feels a little tighter. Mm -hmm. You want it to really dry well. It looks like it's not and quite it tightens dry. up right yeah, it's it's it does she can feel it <laughs> feels she great couldn't, she couldn't talk does it smell weird though does it smell like you're wearing scrambled eggs on your face <laughs> it does not no it doesn't smell anything it doesn't really we'll smell anything we'll see it right? later too like we can see if you can find nice. any little blackheads on there right so there you go at oh, home you don't even look at cost anymore. <laughs> you sure you don't want to see that no i'm good okay hi susan oh, how are you this is Susan. Susan, yes. what are we going to do for Susan? Well, she has something that a lot of us have, these little brown spots that we get from the sun. Some people oh, like yeah, to call I've them. Those over the years, some people yeah. like to call them age spots. I like to call them wisdom spots because we just get more the wiser that we get, right? So we, we, we want to, you can actually use something like a grape. A grape has tartaric acid in it, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, which is actually what like glycol acid is, right? Huh. So it's a chemical peel ingredient. So all you need to do is get a little wet grape and just brush them along your brown spots and you it can really see them do, lighten are subtly gonna really get rid of uh, uh, brown spots probably skin. not really dark ones but you know they have some some exfoliating effect on you just huh. because it's an alpha hydroxy acid all right so next time you're making wine that's right take some grape pulp and shove it all over your face Wait, this one, is that toothpaste? What no, is that? this is hydrocortisone, something that you can find at the drugstore. Hydrocortisone cream, Yes, sure. it helps to decrease redness, inflammation, you know, rashes. Absolutely. But it can be used in a pinch, especially if you squeeze an acne bump and it's really kind of tender or irritated or dried up. Using it like a dry um, lotion? Yes, or it helps to decrease inflammation just across the board. So it's going to help to decrease swelling. It's going to help decrease redness and irritation. So really, if you have a bump that has been freshly picked or looks like it's really angry. Oh, it's every really time good thing to put on. Picked, I get so Sorry. Out. Just think of apples or something. We're yes, okay. apples. Freshly picked apples. So you can put the them on way. in a in a pinch. Yeah, it's not you know it's not going to help prevent a new acne bump from forming, but we want we we really want to treat the ones that you have now or calm them down so you can look good. So and then cool com compresses too. Calming so like them cool down compresses. is a big deal, right? Yeah. Like it, you, you've got to get on top of it as quick as you can. Yeah, and I mean you don't want them to look like your you don't want your skin to look as bad. You, even though you have acne, you want it to look better, obviously. So these are ways to make it look better temporarily. <laughs>